Turning back to some local news and a look at Singapore's northeastern island of Pulau Ubin. Most of its main villages now uh, runs on solar power, accounting for more than 90% of their energy needs. And that's thanks to an expanded power grid designed to shift the island's reliance on diesel to renewable energy. Solar panels on Pulau Ubin and batteries are said to be safer and more reliable, uh, helping to power more than 30 households and businesses on the island. EDP Renewables launched the enhanced grid today, which, is, uh, which it says slashes the island's diesel use by about 100,000 litres per year and cuts carbon emissions by nearly 270,000 kilograms. East Coast GRC MP Maliki Osman says it is an important step in Singapore's green transition. We have been making good progress, looking at uh, different ways of uh, commuting, uh, reducing our, our population of cars, uh, going into electrical uh, vehicles, and many different ways of doing it. So this is another way of, of reaching that, that target. We see how uh, islands can actually contribute towards uh, our uh, target. Here's Chloe Chu with a deeper dive into what this power grid system involves and the impact it's having on the island. For residents and businesses in this island enclave, the switch from diesel to solar has been life-changing. It's brought electricity bills down by about half and made things easier and cleaner. To me, it's a uh, quiet, fresh air. If generator, uh, you got air pollution. Uh, temper, we need the lights on, especially night time. So with this power, we can on the lights uh, 24 hours. So to us, it's uh, quite happy about that. Uh. The system that powers the 30 plus households and businesses here is just a five minute walk away and boasts two key features. First, the solar panels have a green edge, set to make them up to 4% more efficient. Throughout the installation, we have different types of greenery that has been installed in the objective of reducing the temperature below the panels and try to increase the, the efficiency. These large batteries are the other key feature. They can store enough charge to power the town through the night. And they're not your usual lithium-ion batteries. The battery that we are using in this project is a Vanadium Redox Flow battery. Vanadium is not flammable, and so this does not present a hazard or a risk here in Pulau Bin. We are using this battery um, also because it's more appropriate for long energy storage. The entire system works as a microgrid, able to function on its own without being connected to a wider or centralised electric power system. Its implications can be far-reaching. This is the larger of two solar panel sites on the island. There are around 500 solar panels here that's part of the entire system powering the main village on Pulau Ubin. But can this be replicated on mainland? And what are some challenges in scaling up? EDPR says the concept can be replicated on mainlands, but the potential for Singapore lies within its islands. The challenge is in the logistics. Every time we wanted to bring a heavier equipment, we needed to make sure that we have a barge that could come and bring, that the tide was at the right level for the barge to be able to, to bring our equipment to, into the island. And so it had a more uh, complexity in terms of the logistics than a normal project that we would develop in mainland. The project is helping guide research on integrating and storing renewable energy and on the potential to replicate it elsewhere in the region.